what's poppin family first and foremost as always i extend my utmost fraternal love and respect to all of you and hope this video finds you residing within the highest of spirits and doing well on this fine night before thanksgiving evening um you know i, I thought what better time than the night before thanksgiving to do this video you know the holidays can be stressful you know because you know you're always trying to make sure everybody gets their gifts you want to make sure everybody has a nice holiday season uh you know it costs money to do that so you know you're putting in work you're trying to work extra hours whatever the case may be but it's still a very special time because you're with your loved ones you're with your family and it's not always like that for those that might be incarcerated and people have asked me hey fetty why don't you do a video on how it was you know what it was like when you were in there during the holidays so i thought i was going to go ahead and do that tonight and the holidays in there are a very difficult time you know for me it was a very difficult time because i missed my son i thought of my son much more during the holiday season my grandmother you know my brother my family you know um it's a really hard time when you're locked behind those walls a lot of times during the holidays you're locked down and i think that was by design you know i think the cops like to lock us down before the holidays you know they get more overtime when we're locked down stuff like that so you know uh a lot of times we were slammed you know a lot of times we you know some of us were in the shoot you know and it's a very lonely feeling time in there i mean just imagine locking yourself in in the bathroom for like two weeks you know during the holiday season and not having any contact or anything with anybody you know it's a it, it's a hard time you know and even when you're off lockdown and you can make phone calls maybe get visits you know not everybody's lucky enough to have people to come visit them you know in the visiting room not not everybody's you know lucky enough to have somebody to write to or somebody to call home to and you know in, in those situations sometimes people become very violent you know and that's what i mean by a lot of times we'll be locked down during the holiday seasons because people will get so frustrated and agitated and just angry at their situation you know they're missing their their kids so much their loved ones so much they're thinking about what their family's going through at home whatever the case may be and they just lose it they snap and they end up you know doing something and you know i've seen it i've seen people you know unfortunately uh take their lives you know their own lives during the holiday season you know that uh statistic in, in there goes up during that time of the year you know um me personally you know my son's birthday you know christmas thanksgiving those those were the holidays that were the hardest for me my, my grandma's birthday mother's day you know those those were the holidays that were the hardest for me to get through um you know i told a story about this one guy that i was in the shoe with every uh every fourth of july he would stuff a bunch of stuff outside his cell and start a fire in front of his cell every fourth of july he would do it uh you know but uh the holidays were really tough man and you know granted we put ourselves in there and i take full responsibility for my actions but it doesn't take from the fact that that you know when you're locked away like that you know in in a technically a bathroom with you know a couple lockers a couple bunks a, a sink and a toilet and a desk and you know sometimes a window um you know and you're in there during the holidays it, it can be really tough you know and uh salute to all those that are still in there man you know going through it and uh you know hopefully they will you know turn their lives around for the better and one day make it out of there you know um i don't wish that place upon anybody but those that harm children and you know women and elderly innocent people animals you know stuff like that those type of people uh they can stay up in there but you know i don't I, I don't wish 
prison upon anybody, man. It's it's a it's a rough place, and and you know it, it's it's even more difficult during the holidays. So you know if you have a loved one that that's doing good and and striving to better their life, that's incarcerated, and you you have a way of contacting them. Why don't you shoot them a little letter or, or an email or something and let them know you're thinking of them. Send them a happy holiday wish or something. Anyways, I just wanted to make a quick video and just kind of touch on the holidays in there, you know. Um, it's just a lonely time. I, I don't know what other way to put it. It's a difficult, lonely time during the holidays. And you just strive to make the best out of it as you can and hope that maybe they give you a decent holiday meal that year that's all you can really do right you deal with the cards that you uh were dealt you know you made those choices you have to deal with the the consequences of your actions and you do so as stoically as you possibly can that's the best you can do anyways family much love and respect as always i hope you guys have a safe and good night and a happy thanksgiving take care